guys, welcome back to A Slice of Gaming. I'm the only Python 4, and this is Super Mario RPG for the Super Nintendo. So I just left and drained the water again just to show you guys, yes, the cheap cheeps are still here. They're just bouncing around, so, um, anyways, now that we've drained the water, let's go down this pipe here. Be careful not to fall off. Get fully healed. And we have to end up back at that pipe up there for that treasure. Hello there. <laughs> Before we do that, though, can't remember what pipe takes me there. Gotta do some more exploring first. Let's just see which one takes me there. Just out of curiosity, what's down here? I see. So when you jump on that little uh, block there, that'll take you directly outside. So when you go directly outside, unfortunately, what happens is that uh, the water isn't drained anymore. So you have to go back up, drain the water. You can refight the mimic again if you want to, which is kind of interesting. Wonder if you can get infinite. Nah, probably not. Probably can't get infinite drops from him. Anyways, I'm gonna figure out that chest a little bit later. No point in wandering around here. So let's uh, go in here and... Th this must be Bloom! Is that a fire hose or his tongue? <laughs> Ack, it's a snack attack and you're it! <laughs> Okay, okay, so this guy here is the main reason why we've got our true form pin on, and that sucked. A lot. First thing we're gonna do is our usual psychopath here. Yes, we got it, so we can see his extra thing here. I just wanna sleep. Oh, room service has been kind to me. Where's my bib? So Balloon does a, that uh, little tongue attack. It's pretty easy to dodge. The toughest thing about this guy is that you just have to watch out for when he does his Scarecrow dance. Which will turn somebody into a Scarecrow. Here it comes. Stick for a body. Head full of straw. Give me a Scarecrow. Ra ra ra. And luckily he's doing it on Mario, who's got the true form pin on. So that does absolutely nothing. And that's why we gave it to him and not Mallow. What a Scarecrow form does, this, it's a status ailment, and you can only use your spells. Which doesn't sound like a bad thing, right? But that's the only thing you can do other than defend yourself. So Mallow will have him use a honey syrup here. Just to keep myself nice and going here with the flower points. Can't stand it. The hunger. The hunger. So, for a certain amount of time, Mallow is officially unusable for this battle. He'll become usable again after you damage him or you defeat him naturally. So, one more turn ought to do it here, I would assume. Nice, that was a good one. That was scary! If you defeat me, you still won't beat me. Beware of the flood. Awesome! Balloon must have been lying when he said water would come gushing out of here. Or, Mario, do you hear something, or is it just me? Water! Mallow, that was totally your fault. You could have stayed on there. It would have prevented this whole thing. But no. This is the Midas River course. Want a crash course on it? Sure, why not? You start off... First at the falls. Use the control pad to move left and right and score coins. Push B to make a little headway against the flow. 
On the way, there's a few traps. As to what will happen, we'll just keep that a surprise. Now off you go! Okay, so, in this little area we can get frog coins. You can also go down these caves here. Sometimes you'll get a goodie, sometimes not so much. So, and you get to watch this little thing go on here. And then you'll end up at the new part of the waterfall. So when you're going down this new different part here, you can't really move. So if you want to take the left, you'll get coins. But I'm going to actually go for uh, flowers here. So we're going to take this cave here. I do believe there's a flower in this cave. Ow! Or you can lose a few coins, I suppose. Alright, let's drift along. It's not like we can't get those coins back, so that's fine. So I'm going to take another right here into this cave. Yeah, this is the one that we wanted to go in. So I don't know if we're getting all these coins that the bandit keeps losing. I assume yes. Alright, so, got one flower. Now for the barrel jumping event. Need some pointers? Sure, why not? Time your jumps and grab coins along the way. Jump onto the next barrel before they collide. Miss it and you'll change course. Well, it looks like you're ready, so we'll send it your way. Send you on your way. Almost forgot to tell you, leap over the fish that pop up or you'll lose coins. Okay, so this is the Midas River course. Oh, didn't do a very good job of timing things there, but here we go. Most of the time, the fish I find will jump out when there's a coin in the air. So you really don't have to worry. Oh, should have took the other course, but that's okay. Sometimes you'll actually want to change over just to get more coins. Which, oh, guess I didn't need to there, but that's okay. Good thing we changed course. Got more coins out of it. Oh, t of course you have to time your jumps too, which is, you know, seems like a chore for me to do. Didn't have any fish jump out yet. At all, actually. Where are those fish? Hello, fish. You don't seem to be present. There you go. Guess they don't come around until the uh, very end of the course. Only one fish. Usually I get a lot more than that. Wasn't that fun? You got 36 coins. Trade your coins for Minus River for frog coins. First time bonus, I'll give you one frog coin for 60 of your coins. If you didn't know, frog coins are the green ones and Tadpole Pond's got more info on them. You got 36 coins, but that's not enough to cash in, so I'll hold them for you, okay? Come back and try again. Here's something I picked up. You can keep it for good luck. And no Knoke Shell. Uh, oops, didn't mean to do that. So I'll go into your equipment here. And that's actually Mario's new weapon, is the Noke Noke Shell. Which is just a the Koopa Shell, actually. Now if you want to go back up, you can go back up for 30 coins. If you want to, I'm not going to do that for the time being. And let's see. Actually, you know what? I will go back up because I did actually miss something. Now that I think about it, there was two flowers you can grab on there. So let's hop onto here. And this time we're going to take the left path instead of the right. And thank you, Toad, but we really don't need a crash course on it this time. So let's grab more coins this time around. Not go into the cave, because we know that there's nothing in here. Let's go for the frog coin. And hop into this cave here. So this is the cave I was first uh, initially 
thinking about that you can get another flower from. But instead I went the wrong way. So this whole sequence of events that happened will give us the flower points, or the flower instead of uh, the Koopa there. Awesome, so now we're back over in this area here. So we're going to go to the left this time and see what that brings us. So those are the two flower coins you can get. Or I don't know why I keep calling them flower coins for. Two flowers is, uh, you can get. There's one other frog coin up there. Maybe I'll get that later. There's no point in watching me uh, do it again. So let's do this Midas River thing again here. Hopefully with a little bit more luck this time. Seems to be doing okay so far. Oop. Mistimed that jump, but that's okay. I think we want to stay up here anyways for this next batch of coins. Oh, there's a fish. Finally, we get one fish a little bit earlier in the game. Oh, almost landed on top of that fish. Maybe we can grab more coins this time around. If you want to go for a lot of coins, you want to go into that same uh, cavern I went in the second time around where you get the second flower, because it looks like you get a lot of coins from the bandit. Oh, speaking of coins, we just lost them, but that's okay. We're almost near the end anyway, so... Oop. Of course, I had to jump right on him. Let's go over. Lots of fish this time around. I guess that's why they didn't make their appearance this time. Let's see, you got 44 coins. Yeah, I don't I don't have 80. Oh, from last time. Okay, cool. Now let's head over to the tadpole pond. Hmm, it's quiet here. Hi, can I help you? Mallow, it's you! We heard all about your adventures with Super Mario. You guys beat up Bellum, right? You know about that? See Mario the waterways in the world bring news to us here. That's why Grandpa knows all the news that's fit to hear. Are you really the Super Mario? Hey everybody, you'll never guess who's here! He's the real thing, but he doesn't look anything like I thought he would. They do say he can jump better than a froggy. I wonder if it's only a rumor. Well, Grasshopper, what's new? Grandpa, Mario's been helping me. I know, child. That rainstorm we just had, it was you, wasn't it? Ouch. Watch it up there. You're supposed to make me look like I'm floating here, okay? Um, about that, frog fuchsias. Welcome. So, you are Mario, yes? I am frog fuchsias. You've come to seek wisdom from me, have you not? I've been waiting for you. Yes, old wise people can often give good advice. But how rude of me. Let's get more comfortable. Come along, and we'll talk. Clear. Full reverse. That was so cool. Tadpoles, don't just float there. Make yourself useful. Form a bridge for Mario. Tadpole bridge. So hop across and we'll get to Frog Fuchsias. Yes, come into my sanctuary and partake in my wisdom, children. Let's see. That smithy character appeared at Bowser's Keep. He's quite formidable, yes? And Mario, you wish to rescue the princess quickly, do you not? But oh, if only you knew the truth. Toadstool is no longer there.
patience, young one. Let me explain. Here is what happened. You are rescuing Toadstool from Bowser's keep. After defeating him, and just when you were about to free the princess, you heard a loud crash and saw a huge sword split from the split the split split the sky. Whoosh! Out of the blue, the shock sent the three of you flying. Bowser and Toadstool are still lost out there somewhere. Somewhere out there. Now. You're worried about the princess, but first you need to take care of Smithy. His underlings are wreaking havoc in our world. Mac, whom you defeated at the Mushroom Kingdom, was one of them. More will be coming. Grandpa, I almost forgot to tell you something. We found a star in the castle of Mushroom Kingdom. Do you know why it was there? A star, eh? Most interesting. It may sound illogical, but I believe shooting stars can grant wishes. And now more than ever, I believe they will play a vital role in the fight against Smithy. Was that too much to absorb? Would you like a recap? No. It's quite a situation we have on our hands, isn't it? Wow, everything's so dire and serious. Guess Mac was only the first of many, Mario. Some of, some of them will make Bowser seem nice. Mallow, you speak as if these things do not concern you. You will accompany Mario on his adventure, too. Grandpa, what are you talking about? I'm only a simple tadpole. This adventure isn't for me. Mallow, my boy, I've kept this from you until now. But you are... not a tadpole. Say what? I was sitting there one rainy day, enjoying a snack of crickets, when I happened to see a basket floating down from the falls. I peeked inside and saw a little baby staring right back at me. The name Mallow was written on his belt. I felt sorry for the little bundle of puff and took him and to raise him as my own grandchild. He had powerful magic, and I knew he was more than a piece of fluff. I thought, surely this child must be here, must be from some far-off land. Grandpa, you mean I'm not a tadpole? <laughs> Mallow, now is not the time to cry. Go with Mario on his adventure and find your real family. Your real mother and father are out there somewhere. Psst, Mario. My, the boy's magic is sure to come in handy for your adventure. You'll take him along, yes? Grandpa, I won't cry anymore. I'll go on this adventure with Mario and find my real family. Then it is settled. You must embark on your adventure immediately. First go to Rose Town, where they need your help. It'll be quiet around here with Mallow gone. Maybe a snack will cheer me up. That's right, I'd forgotten all about it. I will give you something for the cricket pie you brought back. Ah, I know. You shall have the staff I used when Mallow when I was Mallow's age. The froggy stick will come in handy. Do not forget to equip it. So we get Mallow's first weapon of the game. So we can put that on him and we'll see how much that improves him. Awesome. Go to Rose Town now, Mallow. Luck be with you. So now we can explore this little area a bit, but I think I'm going to end this part off here, and I will catch you guys on the next one, so I'll see you later.